sweet. Entire front end's out of the car because I had to make that. Let's see if I can flip this thing. Make a little bracket to hold the T. Uh, it's a piece of angle and tack for the top and the bottom of the I beam. Yeah. I gotta get it back in now. That's a lot of fun. Especially when you're holding a camera. Oops. Plugs are in. Now I'll trim to the right length underneath the exhaust like I planned. The front brake line is finally permanent. And I had to pull the whole front suspension out to make a bracket to go under there. Tranny cooler. Uh, having fun. Get it outside. This was a uh, scrap I found on the floor. Uh, the notch is to clear a brake line. It's going to be, it's going to mount inside of the frame, clear a brake line, and there'll be two holes there for the emergency brake cables. <clears throat> I can show you where it goes. Talk over the music, huh? There's a line right there. See? Pretty easy. Cables reach uh, perfectly there. The Fiero one's got to be a little shortened, but not a big deal. It's like 8:30. But uh, I'm drilling the holes and uh, I'm going to tap the frame so it'll be removable because I got to get it off that uh, brake line sometime. Well, hopefully never, but you never know. Going in in a few after I drill these holes. Well, here it is after a lot of cutting and drilling and shaping. I just picked an angled shape because one cable's a little closer to the other side, of course. It's the passenger side. Um, you know, it's different. These, this is a 3 16 plate, it's pretty strong, it was already bent, it was some kind of bracket, I don't know what the hell it went to, but I, I ground the notch and uh, started drilling holes and there you go, you just got to put the holes in the frame and paint it green, good to go, just got to make the other end. I uh, had the suspension up, like I said. Got that bracket in. And uh, I had to get it back together quick because I think it's going to rain. But it's time to go in. Have a good night.